Hello everyone and welcome to Flower Friday. Hey there. My name's Amanda. I'm Sherry. And we are the mother-daughter designers at Grace Monroe Home, where we help you transform the ordinary home into an extraordinary home. That's right, and we're going to be doing something just a little different today. We're going to make a beautiful Easter arrangement. I'm excited about this. Oh, I am too. So welcome everyone. Thank yes. you all so much for for joining us today. We are so glad that you guys are here with us. That is right. I needed a little arrangement for uh, my little side table and I thought why not make this arrangement and show y'all how to do this. Yeah, so those of you who are just hopping on with us, welcome. Y'all say hi in the comments. Let us know where you're watching us from today. Yes, and in case you're new to us, we are in Alabama. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let you guys know what we're working with today. That's so, right. for this little bunny Easter arrangement, we have just this little metal pail. You can just get the these. Little pail, yeah. You can get these at Dollar Tree, Michaels, Walmart, anywhere. It's just a small metal yep. pail that we're going to be using. It's got a little handle. You can Honestly, though, any kind of little container would exactly. work. Exactly. Anything would be fine. We have some little eggs yes. to go with our little bunny ears. Aren't they cute? I love these. So these are from Hobby Lobby, as well as the eggs. So cute. That is right. And then we've got some little florals that we're going to be using. We've got some lavender. Yeah, and some pretty little ranunculuses, some little pussy willows that we're going to use, and some little daisies. And so. now we're going to do ours in kind of a purplish, uh, and purple and white color combo, but really you could do it in pink, yes. you could do it in yellow, any kind, you know, you just want it to match your decor, anything would work yeah. for this, or you could do it colorful like with yellow, pink, blue. Oh yeah, all colors, that's exactly right. Now we've got some other greenery. This garland, if you have watched this before, y'all know we have used this. This is our new obsession. We have used this. Love it. So much. Yeah. But this actually came from the, it's from the garland, uh, we, I think it's a wedding It's the section. wedding, yes. In Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but we have used, I mean, we use like one garland. For, yes, and you can get it on sale at least, you know, every other week, so. And we use one garland for several projects, yes. so it's definitely a good uh, investment. So we've got that. We may use some other little greeneries. We'll see as we go along. Yeah, we're just going to wait and see what we yeah. need. So welcome. Those of you who are joining us, we are just so happy yes. that you guys are spending your day with us. Hey, Robbie and Mary. I hope y'all are having a good day. Hey, Deb. We're so glad you're here. Annette, yeah. let's go ahead and get started. All right. So first, what we have done is I have put some of the styrofoam in our little pails and I just glued these in. Now you can get these little, uh, I don't know what you call those, the little disc type, um, anywhere. You can even get them at Dollar Tree, yeah, Dollar you Tree. know, anywhere like that. Um, now what I did is I actually have another one down under this because I wanted to raise it up higher. So this is actually two put together and then I just glued them into my bucket. So very easy to do. I'd say you want it about a half an inch higher yeah, than just a little. your mm -hmm. container. So whatever yep. kind of container you have, about a half an inch higher than that. That's exactly right. And we're going to start with our cute little lavender. And this was from Hobby Lobby. And uh, I liked it because it's got so many different little pieces in it. And I knew that I wanted to do this where, where I was going to sit it, I'm using the purple. So that's that was my goal. So this was perfect. And so you first just want to make sure to straighten it all out and kind of move things around. Now the other one we're going to take apart, but this one we're going to use it just like it is. So I guess that's going to be the front of it. So I am going to first just... Uh, glue this in. Now, you don't necessarily, if you want to change yours up, you don't have to glue them in. Uh, you know, that's strictly up to you. You can just put them, they'll, they'll hold in the styrofoam without glue if you, you know, for, for a good while. So, that is up to you. Now, I'm going to push these down pretty good. I know I want a little height 
in this, but I don't want it to be, you know, way up here. So I'm just going to push that down till it's really pretty good and secure. And we're using a glue skillet, so we're dipping it in the hot glue. If you are gluing yours in, um, you could use a glue gun if you don't have yes. a glue skillet. Yeah. Now, like I said, I'm going to take this one apart because I want to put some of these on either side. So, they've got several different little pieces with them. But I'm going to, I've got these two that I'm just going to go back and twist these two together and put on one side. Well, that didn't work. Let me just. Yeah, it's a little bit of a. Because uh, these, these are not very uh, thick stems. So you do want to make sure you get them good in there. So I'm just going to stick some on either side. Yeah, of my... I'm going to do these two first because those stems are a little harder. And then I will glue this one in. Now, if you ha have trouble getting this these in where you want them to be, all you have to do is go back and just take an extra little stem, make a little hole right where you want it to be, and then just put it in that little hole just like that. And that will take care of that for you. And really, if you did not want to use lavender, you could use any kind of top, but you want something kind of with a little bit of height. Yeah. But, um, you know, there are other things you could use here if you wanted to, but you did sure, not want to use the, sure. the lavender. But I kind of think the lavender is, is cute. Yeah, now I've got one little piece of this. I think you added yours in yeah, it, but I, I did. didn't. So I'm just going to add that now. Right here on the side, just like that. All right. And so if you guys are working on any kind of arrangements or wreaths or projects, let us know in the comments what you are working on. We always love it when you guys share your photos I, with I us. I do, yeah. Um, Get so, a kick out of that. Yeah, we always love seeing that. Did you put it on the other side? I you did any I on did. the other I side? Just okay. two, I just did my two. I just split it in two. You just split one it on in two. Side. Yeah. I'm just kind of adding yeah. these. And I'll turn it back around in just a second. But I cannot see where I want to put it. So I had to turn it around just for a second. And of course, we're going to add a lot of other yeah, things. Yeah, it's going to have other stuff. But so. just like when you're greening a wreath. You know, it's good to at least establish your height and all of that with an arrangement. So that's basically what we are doing. Where are we going to put these? On the side? I'll go ahead and Yeah, no, they're going in the back. In the back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, this is what I have to cut. These are, we got these. They're kind of cute for, for spring. For yes, lady. they are. So I'm going to go ahead those. and start adding mine. Yeah. They're just going straight, both of them straight in the back, just like that. All right, and this one I'm just going to keep on the stem, just like that. So I'm not going to take those apart. I learned that the hard way just then. Yeah. So I'm not taking those apart. So I've just added mine. Stuck it right down into the, the foam. Yep. To the back. So they're just kind of peeking out there. Yeah. Can't wait to add our little bunny ears. Aren't they so cute? They are. I and, love these. You know, you can, this had a, this already came with a little um, rose on it. Mm -hmm. But if you did not want to use it, you could just take it off. Yeah, if you did. And if, just use the ears because they're just wired on there. And i tell you something else, you could actually glue material to them. There's all kinds of things if you didn't want to use them just like they were, but I think they're precious just like they are. So, I am going to add one of these right here on this side, just like that. 
I just kind of wanted those peeking over. Well, where's my other? There's my other one. <laughs> it's hiding from me. Yep, it was trying to get away from me. Hey, Lorraine, and uh, hey there. Happy Friday to you yes. as well. And so, if you are new to us, we're live on Facebook every Friday at four o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time, and we always have some little fun wreath or arrangement, some yep. kind of project to do. So, y'all be sure to join us next week. Okay, so we've got that. So now we're going to go ahead and put in our bunny ears. And these we're just going to tuck in right in here. And they, they actually came on a longer stem. This is a metal stem. So we did have to use the bolt, bolt cutters to cut these off. Um, because I did not want them quite as long as they came. So we're going to bring those just right in there, just like that. Almost like they're kind of like, yep. your bunnies kind of Because we want him kind of peeping bit. out. Yep, we just want him kind of peeping out. He is trying to hide. All right. And like I said, if you, you know, you could keep the little, um, the little rose in the center, or you could yeah. take it off, whatever. Yeah, whatever you chose to or do. Or you could replace it. it. I thought about we could put one of these purple ones in the center. Oh, uh, yeah, so. you definitely could have done that. But since we've got some little daisies we're going to use that are white, too, we'll just okay. leave it. But I'm going to put one of my ranunculuses, and I love these. I'm going to bring one right in here, but it's not going to be, I'm going to cut it off. I'm just going to bring this one right in here. You don't want to cover up your little bunny ears, so we got to be careful with that. I'm going to turn it around just briefly, just so I can get it exactly where I want it. Just about like that. Right, we're trying to do these backwards, so y'all can I know, see. <laughs> and that is, it, it is a little difficult doing it backwards, but that's okay. We want to make sure that y'all get to see it. This one I'm going to bring right up here in the middle. So, so behind I'm just, your ears? Uh huh, right behind my ears, okay, just okay. in the middle. I just want it kind of peeking because, you know, he's in the middle of the little flower garden. Mm -hmm, that's cute. Yeah. So we've got him coming that way. And this one I'm going to bring right here on the side. I think I might have to re mine cut, a little bit. Yeah, i got to cut this one shorter. This one I want to kind of be shorter because I'm going to have the eggs coming up from right in there. So I'm going to get this one in here. Let me see. I got it a little bit shorter. Mm-hmm. Just like that. So that's where we are so far. Now we've got some little daisies we're going to be using. Just to kind of bring in that white from our cute little bunny ears. So we're going to do that with these little daisies. And these we're just going to kind of sprinkle around. Any little wildflower would see. work for this. Yes. Any would be fine. That's right. And I'm going to bring this one over here. Kim, these bunny ears are from Hobby Lobby. I've seen them at a couple places, but these are, uh, yeah, Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring one right back in here. This is really just filler. 
Yeah. And to kind of bring out that the, the white the a little, little white, bit. but I still you just got to be careful because you don't want to cover up the ears too much. So I'm trying to be careful about that. Turn it around this way and just put another one on this side right behind my ears. Okay, so I put this one right here behind this one. It's already, he's looking so yeah, I know. Cute. Yes, already cute. And we haven't even added our little eggs. I know. We've still got and the eggs. We've still got our greenery. The, but the yeah. great thing about this is it, it's really simple. It is. It's really a very, very simple, quick little project that you can do. And it would look so cute if you were, like, decorating for, you know, like a banquet at church mm -hmm. or, you know, anything like that to put them on the little tables. Yes, they would um, be so, so cute. Oh, kids would love these. Yeah. Now, I'm just putting one of my daisies back here because uh, I want it coming up the center of the ears, if I can get it there. So, let's see. Just right in there. There we go. Just like that. So, there's where we are. So, I'm going to go ahead now and put my eggs so I know, because I want my... I've got my, a little bow, and this was just a little hand-tied gingham bow that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to put my little bow right over here on this side, so I'm going to have my eggs on the opposite side. So I'm going to go ahead and put those now, and now these did not come with stems, so all we did was just take, you know, a leftover stem off of a bush that, you know, we had cut a flower off, and just put a little glue on the end of it and then just stick it in. These are styrofoam, so you can get them in easily. Yeah. So, my tallest one. I want to get that on that, so let me move this. Okay. I want to have this coming out just, just like this. And then I'm going to bring my other one oh, about right in there. You Now, if you wanted to use, uh, you know, some little smaller eggs and, and use a lot more of those, that would be perfectly fine. You could certainly do that. Uh, and it would be really cute, I think. But I just, I kind of wanted to just use these. And if you were doing it in a different color combination, I mean, you could use colorful eggs. Earlier, we mm -hmm. had a whole bunch of little little eggs when we were yep, deciding what. Yep, to, when we were deciding which ones we wanted mm -hmm. to use and that kind of thing. And uh, Sorry, just a tad. But now, I want to put some of this garland in. Now, um, you if you didn't want to use this garland, you could just add some greenery around the bottom, you know, some kind of little uh, herb greenery or even some boxwood, anything like that just around the bottom would be fine. But I just thought since we did want to tie in some of the white with all of this, I thought the uh, this this garland would be really pretty. Yeah, the, the baby's breath. Now, to, yes. if you wanted to... Um, you could use, you know, what am I trying to think? Um, um, this, this. Oh, <laughs> lamb's ear. Lamb's ear. Lamb's ear. <laughs> it just like yep. right out of my Oh, head. don't you love that when that happens? <laughs> you could use lamb's ear in this. I yes. think that would look pretty too. It would. It would be really pretty. And so we're just going to kind of fill around the edges with this. Yep. Um, I, we cut big chunks of it. 
and oh, yeah, the garland. Exactly. And then just glue it right in. And That's then scary. just glue it right in. Yeah, and you could of course use moss, but we're not using it today. Yeah. We're not for this one. No. Because we're not going to exactly need it. That's exactly right. But once we get everything in here, mm -hmm. we're definitely we're not going to need it. But definitely you could use, you know, moss if you wanted to. Yes. I'm just kind of moving stuff around to get some of this put where I want it to be. And actually, normally we would use moss, mm -hmm. but since we decided to use yep, this, yeah, we just not. decided that uh, you know what, my little flower just came off, so I need to put that back on here. And just going around. Yeah. I just pulled my little flower off. There we go. Okay. Now I'm just going to keep on around putting some of this all around the outside. I love this. Um, this I do too. Breath. This is just so pretty. So pretty. And it's just so versatile. You can use this with so many uh different wreaths and arrangements and that's what I love about it. I am getting glue everywhere. This stringy glue. Now just like we did with the other, if you have trouble getting this to go in your uh, oasis or your um, styrofoam, then uh, just make a little hole with an, you know an extra stem and you can get it right in. I'm just trying to get some of this glue that I've got wrapped all around this. Oh. Although I don't know why, because I'll get more on it. But. Okay. And now you do want to make sure you go all the way. This, this arrangement is going to be strictly for this, this front. So it's going to be sitting where you're not going to really see the back. However, I don't want to leave the back looking like this. So I'm going to bring that all around so that if it gets seen from the back, you will still have it kind of finished. Uh, so that's just going to help it not to, not to look so bare on the back. Lazy Susan. And just I know. I know. We do. Around to around. keep turning it around. I think around. one time I did do that when we had it around. Uh -huh. it. Yep. Now, they would definitely come in handy right now. You can use as much of the filler mm -hmm. or as little as you want. Of course, it's going to be all up to you and whatever look you're yep. going for. If you like the more um, kind of shabby look, you'll probably want to add just a little bit more. Robbie, the ears are from Hobby Lobby. Yes, and they are so cute. And like I was saying, if you wanted to change them up, you could just, you know, glue some um, some kind of material on them. Uh, since we're not going to be showing the back anyway, you know, you could definitely do uh, that. Yeah, you could fill in the uh, mm -hmm. the the holes, mm -hmm. you know, where the there's just all kinds of stuff you could do. Sometimes we have to do that. 
Oops, that's too much. And if you want yours to be airier, you know, then uh, you certainly do not have to use as much of the baby's breath. You can make it a little more airy. Or actually, you wouldn't even have to use any if you didn't want to, but uh, I love it. So I like a lot of it. And it just so happens that I've got an arrangement on my mantle that uh, has this in it. So it's going to match it perfectly. So that's, that's what I needed. Okay, so I've got one side done like I want it, so I'm now I'm going to work on the other side. And this just takes a few minutes, just getting all of this in. Oh, yeah, but it's turning out really good. Yeah. I love this. And if you really, you know, if you back. wanted to use a lot more lavender, um, you could. We even have these cute little berries that we thought about adding some mm -hmm. of those you could, in there. You, you could add some pit berries, you that's right. That if you wanted to. Yep. Anything like that that you wanted to do would work. That's the thing about, you know, we, we teach in Design with the Pros Club uh, that, you know, you want to make it your own. And everybody brings their own way of looking at life and looking at art and, you know you bring all of that into your own arrangements so you know yours may not look exactly like mine that's perfectly fine you know it, it's going to be what you make it uh that's what makes it beautiful what you looking for honey we have one more um, one of more. the purple but that's okay of what that's purple okay. The lavender. Oh, no. Mm -mm. We didn't have but two of those. That is all. But, like I was saying, that's what makes it special. So, you know, when you make it, just put what you want in it. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to try different things. like the baby's breath in here. I do too. And there's other, you know, you can find it on the um, stems, but it doesn't yeah, look quite you can, as pretty but it's not as, as this one, this yeah, particular one. I really, really I know, like. and that's what, you know, I keep getting the garland because the garland is just, it's just so much prettier than the uh, stems. I almost forgot about our little bow. Yeah, we got so a little bow So I will in. also, um, yeah, I didn't even save a little place for it. Um, I will also post a video showing you how to make one of these little hand-tied bows. This is only eight loops. It's just a yeah, small just one. Yeah, just a simple little bow. Not hard at all. I promise you can do that. Yeah. You know, people say all the time, but I don't know how to make it. I promise it's, it's that easy that you can oh, do yeah. it. And if you, you know, if you didn't want a bow, you definitely don't yes, have to. Yes, you know, that's, there again, that's your preference. Or you could put just a little burlap bow if you wanted to, mm -hmm. to kind of match his yep. ears. 
I'm just putting it over to the side and flipping it out. I know you guys can't see. It's hard. It, yeah, I know. It's hard it, to make it. It is to where backwards. you can see. over here and then I'm going to put my bow on and then I'll be able to tell where I need something else. Oops, that's Got one here in the back that you're really not going to be able to see and so I'm going to move it to the front. Mm -hmm. I feel like I want another now, purple something. I'm going to show you. Uh, you could put these if you have wooden picks or, you know, something like that. You could do that. We've got the wire that we wired it on with. But uh, if you don't, just cut you a stem off of one of your bushes that you're not, you know, you've already cut the flower off, a leftover stem, and then just take that wire and just kind of wrap it around that stem and then just take the stem and you just want to bend it down into a U and stick that right in there right where you want it. Make sure you've got it turned towards the front just like that. Bring this right in here. So I'm just kind of adjusting and mm -hmm. situating everything how I want it. And then just kind of fluff the bow. Let's see what these look like in here. I'll pull off a couple and see what they look like. The little pit berries? Yeah. Yes, because I love those. And now something else that you could do if you wanted to, you could take some of the ribbon and uh, just come around mm -hmm. and tie your bow on if you wanted to do that. But we are, I'm going to have to get that glue all off of my tail right there. I might add a few little pieces of it. I'm going to cut my tails a little bit shorter. Now I want to dovetail these, so I'm just going to bring them together and then bring them in half. And take my scissors and just cut up just like that. And make those a little shorter. Now let's see, do I want to add any more of my berries? Or any more berries? I haven't added any. Let's see. I'm just adding just a few. Mm -hmm. I, kinda I love these. And I like just a few of them. Uh, these were from Hobby Lobby. They've got all the different colors. Uh, they've got like pink and uh, blue mm -hmm. and so, so cute. And you can leave them whole if you wanted to and stick them in uh, to add to it. I think I'm going to stick these right there and try that just to see what that looks like. And then just going to take a few of these apart. I don't know if I ever took the tag off of that one.
like we said earlier, this is something that you can add as few or as much to uh, as you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, I like a few of them in there. Mm -hmm. so. Cute. They are very cute. And this is just a cute little, mm -hmm. simple little I mean, it's really Easter. Not difficult. Not at difficult. All. It was just a little cute little Easter yeah. arrangement. Could sit it on the table and yep. have an Easter lunch or mm -hmm. dinner. Exactly. So cute. Kim, the ribbon is, yes, the ribbon's on a stick, and we just kind of made the stick into a U, mm -hmm. and just stuck it right down into the foam. If you wanted to use the wooden um, floral sticks, you could. Yeah, the little uh, picks, you certainly could do that, um, but yes, very, very easy to do. Well, I think I'm about done with mine. Yep, I think I am. I may add a little too. little something else later, but for yep. now I think that's about it. Get my tails around there. It's trying to hide. I think I'm going to cut my tails really short. Yeah, I think yeah. these need to be cut off too. I cut them off one time, but I think they need to be a little shorter. But, there we go. So cute, and you got your little, your little bunny ears yep. just popping out there. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? So cute. So, so cute. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little this project we've done. Like yep. I said, it's really, it's really simple. You just need to make sure you have a little container. You could use a square container. Yes. A little round container, or a little pail like we did. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. We've got a small piece of foam, and the foam is about a half an inch above the rim of the container, so you right. really want to make sure that you do that. Um, we did not use any kind of moss on this, and we don't really we no. need to because we used this kind of filler. Right. But if you did not have that kind, you would want some kind of uh, you would want moss or something to cover yes. up your foam if you if you don't use this kind of filler like we did. But you know, just the bunny ears and a, and a few florals in it. Yep. And, and now go. and you could like we said, you could change this out and use boxwood mm -hmm. greenery or anything like that that you know kind of something compact around the bottom yeah so anything but uh, like that go. would work yep and so this is just a fun little centerpiece that you can put out for Easter yes it is very simple to very make. simple to do well I hope you guys have enjoyed this and if you give this little DIY project a try please let us know yes we would love to yes hear how it worked out for you yes we would this has been fun. Yeah. Well, we thank y'all so much for joining us today for Flower Friday. We are live on our Facebook page every Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. That's so y'all be right. sure to join us next week. Um, if you're watching us on Facebook, if you guys will just click the follow button so you get notified we, uh, when we're live or when we uh, make any kind of post or anything like that. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please click the subscribe button. And also click the bell so you get notifications. Yes, and before I forget it, we have a little announcement that, you know, we were open a while back in our Design with the Pros Club. Well, tomorrow is my birthday. So we are going to open for 24 hours starting tonight all the way until tomorrow night. And uh, just as a little birthday thing. So if you haven't joined Design with the Pros Club and you would like to, just go to our uh website at gracemonroehome.com and look in the top right corner where it says join the club and just click there and you can read all about the club and find out all about it.
Yeah, We'd so, love to have you. And y'all give her a little happy birthday love. Yep. Tomorrow's my birthday. Tomorrow's the, the day. Yep. So, hopefully you'll have a good weekend celebrating. Yes, I think I will. We're, we're going out to eat supper tomorrow Oh, so night. it's not a surprise. No, it's not a surprise. I guess you thought it was. No. Well, that was a surprise. No. I'm good well, at I, guessing. Well, I guess we're going out to dinner. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I guessed it. What can I say? Well. But, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you next week. Bye, y'all. Bye.